Hey everybody, I just filmed uh, my January favorites video and I just, I feel like the Lord is putting on my heart some things that I want to discuss and you know I have a blog that I know a lot of uh, my younger viewers read and um, so I just want to talk about some things and kind of just um, throw it out there so everybody remembers, especially the younger viewers that watch me. I have a lot of younger girls that I can see in my demographic and um, I just really want to remind them about this. Um, but as you guys all know, I'm a Christian and I am, I almost hate using that word because a lot of people say it but they don't actually live the lifestyle of a Christian but I for sure do as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm always trying to just take the, the direct take the correct direction that God has placed on my life but I just want to say that God in the Bible he never says anything's gonna make sense he never says things are going to go exactly how we want he never says that everything is gonna have a exact reason that we're gonna understand but he does say that everything works out for his glory and that we all of us living our lives we all will end up going through things that will benefit him and that's the main purpose of everything and I just want to kind of give the example of when I was in seventh grade some stuff happened with our house and we basically had to move and so we were deciding to either move somewhere in Lake Orion Michigan or we were moving elsewhere and I knew that my parents always have wanted to move, but they have always told me that they would never move states unless I was totally okay with it, which I thank them for so much. But I was, and I've always been like, I've always going, I'm like, I'm very Christian, so I've been going to church my whole life, and I was sitting in my room one day and I was praying, and I just felt the Lord tell me, go. And that's all I said, was go. And I was like, what? what do you mean go I can't just go and so what I took from that is I needed to go tell my parents that I was okay with whatever they decided to do and I was going to trust God to do whatever he wanted to do in their hearts and move us to where he needed us to be and so when I went downstairs I told them guys I'm okay with moving which I wasn't I wasn't at all and I wasn't I also wasn't prepared for what was gonna happen in Texas um, but at the same time, I knew that that's what God was calling me to do. So I told them, I'm okay with moving. Let's go. Let's do it. And so it all depended on where my dad's job took him and it ended up taking him to Texas. So we moved to Texas and I didn't understand why I didn't understand how I didn't understand what, when, where, what I didn't understand at all, but I did it. And that pro I'm sh I know in my heart that that meant the world to God that I was allowing him to take control of my life because without moving here a ton of the great things that have happened to me never would have happened I would have never met Patrick I would have never um, even had a first boyfriend probably <laughs> um, I would have never met my best friend and met all the amazing people that I have met I've never I wouldn't I wouldn't have been a model I wouldn't uh, have had my Elsa and Anna career, probably wouldn't have worked at Ulta, wouldn't have gone to esthetician school. I know for sure I would have gone to Michigan State. Um, and I wouldn't have had all the trials and um, not so great things happen that have happened here, but I know that in the end it benefits God because I am doing so much with my church. I just my life is so much better here than what it would have been in Michigan um, and I just I want to encourage you guys and let you know that you know you just have to follow what God says and not everything's gonna make sense I didn't understand why God wanted me here but now I do I understand that he wanted to use my family for greater things in our church and um, that's starting the Iker cafe we started a whole cafe in our church that profits and just exceeds everybody's expectations on what it should be and I'm able to be a part of that alongside my dad my mom my brother and a whole eye care team and it's just amazing and then also my boyfriend I would have never met Patrick Patrick is the light of my life he has changed what I thought love was and he really saved me in that way um, and 
I just, yeah, and like there's just so many great, great things that have happened and I know that all of them benefit God and, and I just want to encourage you guys that God never said things were going to make sense. He only said that they would work out for his good and that, you know, he basically says in the Bible, we don't need to understand. We don't need to understand right now. Everything will be understood once we're in heaven. Um, and as long as we are doing everything to glorify God right now on earth, then that's all that matters and that's why I encourage you to go when God says go and to move when he says move and to walk when he says walk and just have faith in his plan and everything will work out I don't know if you guys have seen my story time about Patrick and I but that's a perfect example too as far as waiting on God's timing and moving when he says move and stopping when he says stop and I fully believe that, you know, he totally wrecked my life by moving it here to make it better and to make it better for him, which is the main purpose. So I just want to encourage you guys to think about that today. And um, I don't know if I'll put this, post this on my YouTube channel or just on my blog, but wherever you guys see it, I hope that it makes you think and um, makes you have more faith. Thanks, guys.